All right. Uh, this is for Etienne Fustier, and I'm sorry if I murdered your name. Um, first thing I'm going to do, and this is this is nothing. This is because I'm left-handed, not because I'm uh, any other reason. But I'm, I'm just going to uh, take this and move it over here, and then move this over here, just just so I'm not hand over reference. Okay. So with this. I, and I see what you're trying to do. You're, you're trying to, you know, do deal with the vegetation. You're trying to deal with all the stuff, all the information in there. And you want to start simplifying your ideas. Um, and the best way I can tell you to simplify your idea is you put your perspective in here, but you have to realize that your perspective is wrong. Um, and the reason it's wrong is because of the the um, this one has a third point perspective it's kind of got an angle on it so I'm gonna show you real quick here um, this is the way I would tell you to, to do things okay instead of thinking about individual sections and, and individual ideas start break basically breaking down your shapes okay and so I'm going to um, I'm gonna just go like this and I'm going to create a new layer. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this light, real light, kind of fadish blue. Yeah, it's almost a yellow. Let's grab a, a light yellow color here. And yeah, it's actually lighter. Okay. So I'm going to grab this light yellow color. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting in um, kind of my background. So the first background is just, just the highlight got some light up here and so on and so forth and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start basing out the shapes okay and so the first shape that I see is this kind of mm, kind of green color and I'm going to go with a hard brush this time and there's going to be a reason so I'm going to grab a new layer and I'm going to go hard brush and I'm just going to kind of start building up Let's, uh, I don't like that, so let's erase some of that. And then I'm going to grab here, and you can see that that I'm just going to grab some of these tree branches in the background. And I'm going to grab like maybe some, some, yeah, some bushes here. And I'm going to grab some trees. And, type of thing here and then I'm gonna change it up because I'm gonna go into my brush panels and I'm gonna go in and add a little scattering so that's gonna scatter and I'm gonna add uh, shape dynamics I'm gonna ang add my angle jitter and I'm gonna add roundest jitter and I'm gonna add size jitter and just by doing that that's that's gonna give me more of a leaf pattern and so I'm just going to start adding in some of that leaf pattern. Oops, way too big. Uh, here we go. So I'm going to add in some of that leaf pattern, kind of add some over here, and I'm just adding enough to give me a little color, a little bit more saturated in some spots, a little darker in some spots. So I'm just going to add this this leaf texture, and I'm not, I'm not doing anything like awe-inspiringly at this point. I'm just creating a rough background. And then I'm going to go back into here and then I grab some, some more dark angles and change up your brush size when doing vegetation. Nothing is ever kind of that same pattern. And then I'm going to go back to here. Let's see here. Nope. I have to reset my brush here um, and I've got this brush I've got a brush like this that's just a leaf pattern so I would um, I would go into my nature pack and my foliage and then just I've got a painterly leaf brush here and I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to just add this darker kind of leaf texture pattern over here and so that's all I'm doing at this stage of the game 
There you go, a little bit darker. This is in the foreground a little bit more. And then add a little bit of more green. And I'm just gonna so I'm just grabbing some base stuff here. And that's all I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go here, grab this, and I'm gonna go back to my white and um, just gonna add in some base stuff there, okay? And uh, I'm gonna hit backspace. And uh, all right, so once that's done, once you get your basic idea in there, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab my basic drawing brush again, and I'm gonna go into my reds, grab my real dark red here, and I'm just going to add in a power uh, just just kind of holding shift down I'm gonna draw in my basic shapes so I'm gonna grab it like this I'm gonna grab this actually a little bit closer so I'm gonna grab like this here's this and let's go something like this and one of the things that you learn real fast is that you don't need to draw um, more than one side. So I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to add in kind of this angle like so. And I'm roughing this in. I'm not, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this. I'm just going to try and show you the process real quick. So um, I'm just going to kind of darken some of that up, a little darker here, so on and so forth. And then this is, so here's my basic shape. And then I'm gonna just grab some of this mid-tone blue here. And so I've got my basic shape, right? And then I'm gonna just add a little bit here. And so with my basic shape in there, I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and I'm going to uh, select transform and I'm going to put this right about center and I'm going to flip horizontal and so that is that and merge my layer and so now you can see I'm going to select transform I'm going to move that in a little bit and I'm going to grab the corners and you can kind of see the corners are kind of angled a little bit. So they got kind of this looking up angle, like so. And so that's going to add in that perspective. And uh, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to reinforce some of that light. So I'm going to grab some of that yellow that's popping on the corners and I'm going to add in and you can see really quickly how you can add in um, a little bits and pieces um, you know to, to separate the shape so think about things as shapes not as not as pieces here and then from there then you start up on your on your your other stuff so I'm going to create a new layer again go here and the the dark um, the dark path is just going to be basically actually really simple. I'm going to grab this down right about here, comes back up and like so, and then I'm going to fill in uh, fill in with the foreground color real quick and then I'm going to go with my brush real quick here and I'm just going to color pick because it just makes life simpler here. So, so I'm going to add in my basic shapes. We got some yellows, things like that. So this is my um, rough patch here, like so. And I'm just going to add in, and as I go up. Those stairs are getting a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, smaller, and smaller, and tighter together, and so on and so forth. 
And then the, then after that, you can go in and you can go in and add in, you know, whatever you want. You know, like if this has a little bit of, a, you know, yellow here or something like that, like this, um, you know, that's going to kind of help you out. You know, look, looking at this, you've got a little bit of white here, so I'm going to grab some of that. I'm going to add that on to here, maybe a little bit of light, um, so on and so forth. As it gets closer here, I'm... I'm going to pull up some of that, maybe up here. I'm going to just add some of this. So you can you can break down the bigger shapes. But now that shape is there. And then from there, you can go in and add in your refining details. So I've got another layer here. And I'm just going to grab real quickly the, the tree, like so. This tree is coming forward. Um, it's coming over like so. And I'm not going to. Oops, I'm not going to worry so much about all the the smaller shapes of the vegetation. I'm going to worry about the bigger blocks, and the bigger blocks are what's going to sell your your piece here. And so you can see here. I'm going to just grab some of this and grab some of the vegetation. I grab some of the vegetation there, and then I'm going to grab some darks up here, like this. And you can see really quickly, I'm just grabbing the base colors that I've used here and started in blocking in these smaller areas. I grab this dark here, and that's kind of pushing this out here. Um, you know, there's this kind of almost this mid-tone color here you know I'm grabbing that and then you know it just starts turning into smaller and smaller shapes with more and more texture so in this case I'm gonna uh, look at this this uh, part here and I'm just gonna mute this green because it's it's really kind of big so just kind of mute some of these colors and I'm just really quickly roughing this in. And then you've got on this, you've got you know some of the same greens coming in here and pulling out these shapes here and the highlight color, you know, you're getting this nice bright yellow. Um, and you're you're basically blocking out those individual shapes and creating that flow of movement. To your individual scene, and that's and that's what I think you're doing wrong, is you're trying to get everything as a whole, and so you're not paying attention to, you know, the parts. And I think that is, you know, one of the things that looking at this, I'm just going to collapse the layer here, and I'm going to actually just transform it a little bit over so I can see. So, but looking at the two. Now I can easily go in, and I, I, I'm much closer in. I can also grab this dark color and add this, uh, you know, this character that you're putting in here. Like so. You know, and so, so by adding that in there, by adding, you know, a mix of saturated colors and more, um, more desaturated colors. Like I would go in here, according to this artwork, I would go in here and I would go in with the, let's go with the uh, sponge tool a little bit, and I would grab some of the sponge tool and kind of pull out some of the greens, um, maybe a little bit over here too. I would add in with a regular brush. I would add in a little bit more of the you know, lighter green tones, and it's basically just breaking in smaller sections and smaller sections and smaller sections, and that's what it is. Um, you know, and it's about how the shapes read, and then the smaller details will come once the bigger shapes read. All right? I hope that helps.